Carby number one of the Bank Holiday Sunday. Um, so the turnout's much better than usual. Let's just get right into it and hopefully find some stuff. Give a few more. Oh, I'll come have a look at them in a sec. Right, just finished the first one. As you saw, found a few bits here and there. Um, really sick tees, the beavers and butthead one, that's sick. And then just got some standard sellers here and there, like a couple of quarter zips, and then mostly t-shirts, I think, and a few polos. But yeah, we're gonna shoot off to the second one and hopefully that'll be good as well. Right, just arrived at Carbon number two. It is a bank holiday weekend, so it's fully packed. It's probably the biggest I've seen it all season. And this is the second Carby that I'm going to today. So all the, most of the resellers have actually probably cleaned up. So I'll probably just look for like, just the weird and different things that they don't really sell on eBay and don't really know much about. So I usually just look out for like, old tees like old screen stars old fruit of loom just stuff like that because i don't think too many uk ebay sellers know too much about that sort of stuff but should be good let's go find some stuff wasn't too bad i found a few branded bits but nothing major but i did find an old music tee which is really sick and i'll show you that a bit later when we go through everything that i found copy number three a uh, decent turnout, but obviously I've been to two carpets before, so it's probably been picked through quite a lot. But hopefully there'll be a few bits that I can grab. Oh yeah, there it is. How much do you want for the jacket? Uh, it was literally like, gone. How much? One pound fifty. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, as you saw, didn't really find too much at the last one. Did find a bait beanie, but I'm not too sure if it's legit or anything, but it was like 50p or a pound, I think. But yeah, uh, in the next clip, I'll show you everything that I found. And we're back home and found loads of really sick vintage tees, like they're really cool. Load of tees, like I've got a bunch here and then a few fleeces. We'll go into the tees first and then just carry on from there. First, we've got this North Face tee, long sleeve. I think I paid two pound on this. It's a bit faded on the neck, but probably 10 to 15 pounds on that one. Then we got just a Nike basketball tee, really cool logo. I think that was two pounds, like 10 to 15. Another Nike basketball one on the back, I'm not sure what that is. It says more than the game, world tour, Chicago, Washington, loads of other places. Another basketball tee, two pounds, again, 10 to 15. This one's really sick, it's a Jordan one. Loads of Jordan pictures all over it. Paid two pound on that, probably 10 to 15, maybe around 20, I could push. Then I found this NFL jersey. It's got Ramsey on the back. I'm not too sure what how to price this. I got it for a tenner and it's brand new with tags. I think it does say the date on the tag. Yeah, 2012, but I'll show you it there. Then Ramsey, but brand new with tags. Tenor. I just took the risk on it because it looked decent. And then I got this really cool Adidas polo from the 90s, I think, maybe late 80s, 90s, that tag. But nice center logo, 
The only problem is it's got some thread pull just there, but it cost me 50p and probably sell it for 10 to 15. If it was flawless, I could probably push 20, 25, maybe in the summer or the warmer months, but really nice clean piece, that one. Last few bits, found this Walkers. It's like a kid's t-shirt, but I just thought it was really cool with the Walkers advert on it. It hasn't got a team or anything, plain on the back, but I think I paid a pound or 50p on that. And that's just gonna go in the kids collection there. And then last one is this, like I think it's an early 2000s Gildan tag. You see it there. But it's like a, it's the spindle I think of a record player, the center spindle. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. I just like the look of it. It cost me a pound and probably get 10 to 15 on it. Now we've got a few Ralphie bits that I found. Got this long sleeve rugby, really nice stripes on it. I usually get around 20 for them if they're like just a plain color like navy or black. But this one, they usually go for around 30-ish is what I'd probably charge on this. It's a good size as well, double XL, nice oversized fit. The rugby cost me a pound and then so did this, this striped Ralphie tee. I think a friend's literally sold like two of these for 20, 25 each quite recently. And like they're just really good summer sellers. Got it for a pound, probably 20 to 25 on that one. And then we've got another Ralph rugby top. This one's got the big embroidered ponies on the front. Uh, this one cost me two pounds. And again, probably 20 to 30 pounds I'd probably get on this one. Really clean, no flaws on it. I'll quickly show you all these outerwear bits before I get into all the vintage bits. But first we found this North Face quarter zip. Cost me seven pounds which is a bit steep for a car boot, but it's brand new, literally flawless, nothing wrong with it. 20 to 30, I'll probably get on that. And then I found this Lacoste quarter zip, really nice fleecy one. Cost me around a fiver, I think it was. Yeah, fiver. And again, probably 20 to 30 on it in the winter months. It is Lacoste sport, I think, yeah. And then we got the Timberland jacket, which cost me £1.50. It is quite stained, but I'll definitely take the risk to give it a wash and hopefully it'll come out a bit better than what it originally was. But £1.50, you can't really go wrong. Probably in the winter months, anywhere from 20 to 30 on that one again. Okay, so now we got the craziest bits of the day. Got a few old bits and then we got a streetwear piece. I'll show you the streetwear piece first. It's this bait beanie. Just got a little bait logo there. It's like velvety, sort of fluffy. Um, I think it's legit, I've been told it is. I'll show the tags quickly. It can be overexposed. Been told it's legit, but not 100% sure, got it for a pound, you can't really go wrong. And then here are just the best bits of the day. First we got this Ferrari polo, single stitch on the hem, obviously not on the arm because it's cuffed, but it is a black Screen Stars tag, 50-50. I think it's late 80s to early 90s this one. Just really sick polo, just nice embroidered Ferrari, nothing else on it. Next old tee that I found is this blue Screen Stars tag, I'll show you it there. It is a Banana Boys tee, I'll show you the back there. And then I'm pretty sure it's like a topless lady. I have no clue what this is, I have researched it and it's it's not the play, which is like made in 2016, because this is an older tee. But comment down below if you have any idea what this is. I'll show you it there, that's all it is, just that graphic on the chest and then the back but really sick tea, whatever it is. Now it's the best teas of the day by far. First we got the Bon Jovi, these days, 1996 to 97. It's like an all over print on the back as well. Single stitch on the blue screen stars. I picked this up for three pounds at the second car boot. I didn't get any footage. It was like hanging up on her car and she told me that she was like a big fan and I probably should have got her details to be fair and see if she's got anything else, but really sick tea, three pounds. Price-wise, I'm really not too sure on what this would go for. I mean, the UK t-shirt market is much smaller than the US, so it's probably worth more in the US, but could be anywhere from 20 to, I don't even know, like it could go for a lot, but it's an all over print, really crazy graphic, only cost me three pounds. I'm definitely just gonna store it and hoard it with all the other older tees that I've found and hopefully maybe sell them in the future when price is higher or just gonna keep on to them because they're really cool pieces and very hard to find. I mean, I was gobsmacked when I saw that. It was just hanging on the car and it was the second car boot. 
I'm surprised like no eBay sellers bought that or anyone else who finds stuff like this, but really crazy piece to find. And the final tee of the day is this Beavis and Butthead MTV tee from 1994. I'll show you the bottom there. They're doing Moonies, but just really crazy to find a Beavis and Butthead tee in the UK. I mean, people find them quite a lot in the US. This one cost me, I think it was a pound as well. I found this one with the Banana Boys tee, so they were a pound each, and I don't know what they go for, probably 20 upwards of 50. I could just be chatting absolute rubbish, but really cool graphic, crazy tee, single stitch, just another sick find in the UK, and I'm gonna hoard that one as well. So that is it for everything that I found today. Really good day out. Those vintage tees are just crazy, the Bon Jovi and the Beavis and Butthead one. But as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment anything you want. Comment if you know what the Banana Boys tea is. I have no clue. And comment prices of these, what you think the Bon Jovi will go for in the US or the UK. Don't really mind where you are. And then, as always, follow the Instagram and the Depop. It'll be down here. Ryan's Finds, R-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.